Hi, I'm Jim Prohaska, facility manager at the Jocelyn Castle, and um, I just built these bee houses, and I want to tell you a little bit about them. We built these bee houses to create homes for solitary bees. Solitary bees are important pollinators for vegetable and fruit crops. There are approximately 200 species of solitary bees. The main solitary bee that we have here at the Joslin Castle is the carpenter. Carpenter bees do not produce honey, they do not live in hives, and they do not have a queen, but they are a very important pollinator. If you look closely here, you'll see all of the pieces of wood have little small holes drilled into them. If you look at the plugged up ones as here and here, this is where the carpenter bees have already burrowed into and made their homes. All the bee houses of the Jocelyn Castle were created with recycled and found materials such as these tree branches, old wood. If you want to build your own bee house, you can look around your area, your house, your garage, ask your parents, find materials that you can use to build your own. If you're going to build your own bee house, you should try to build it out of organic and natural materials such as wood, uh, branches, tree branches like here, and stay away from materials such as plastics, bamboo, or wood that was treated with chemicals or insecticides. With this particular bee house, we got a little creative and had a little more of an arty bent to it and um, used found objects again. Uh, old pallets, concrete to hold all of the little housing objects together, latex paint. The bees are having a hard time finding a place to live because of the chemicals we use in farming and the size of our cities, but you can help by creating a bee house of your own. The next time you visit Jocelyn Castle, see if you can find all four bee houses and say hello to the bees.